hello everyone so this is about one of the recent certification i did and that's on colibra data governance so let me brief you guys on that and this, this is going to be a very short video so what is uh, colibra so colibra is a company that provides tools related to data management so one of the popular tools they have is related to data governance so what is data governance uh, data management so you must have heard of data engineering data science data analytics so what is data engineering it's all about taking data from different sources and doing transformation on it data science is about after taking the data doing some forecasting on it data analytics is about analyzing the data or uh, visualizing the data and data management is all about taking the data storing it and managing it so there are a lot of challenges when when you come when it comes to managing data and with the kind of volume of data that we currently receive this challenge is uh, becoming a massive day by day and data management field is getting wide popularity because of this challenges so few of the things few of the areas that are quite popular currently are master data management data quality metadata management uh, data cataloging so these are data governance so these are fields which are getting really very popular when it comes to data management so colibra as a tool provides us data governance related solutions along with uh, some other uh, stuffs as well so i will just talk about data governance so what is data governance data governance is the process of governing uh, the uh, the the systems from which the data is are received the system to which the data is going uh, how what's the lineage of data like what what is the source and from source uh, how the data is flowing how it how it's flowing from different tables how it's flowing from different columns who is responsible for any issue that is found in data is the data uh, abiding by certain rules policies so following uh, this principles uh is is usually quite difficult to do if any architecture is not in place and colibra gives us uh this architecture so there are certain terms that we'll get to know while doing the course like communities sub communities domains assets workflows and how how you can learn about it and do a certification is we just need to go to colibra university so just go and search for call libra university and you will get this this link and once you get down to this link you can see a list of courses so the courses that are suggested since i was logged in i was directly uh redirected to my dashboard so this is this is somewhat what you will see on the screen so the learning path that i would suggest you is to start with foundation of data governance learning path then getting to uh, start with learning path and then you can go to colibra workflow engineering learning path and then the solution architect learning path but you can choose some other learning path but i suggest that you should start with at least this two learning paths so once uh, you enroll for any learning path so let us take this as example so once you enroll for any learning path okay since my session was on i was uh, i was redirected to my uh, learning page and this is the course these are the details and here you can see like there are a lot of different courses and if you drill down to one of the course you will see there are certain videos that you need to watch and finish and once you finish these videos you need to appear for a small test of five questions so likewise you need to take on these courses and uh, finish the uh, tests on respective chapters and there is a grand test at the end and you will encounter questions from all these chapters uh, perhaps a few of the questions that you encountered on the previous chapters could be witnessed here as well so what is my suggestion to you is while we're doing uh, this courses uh, be a lot attentive to the questions you are facing uh, 
sometimes i was not sure about few of the things because of the pace of the video and sometimes since i'm i'm new to the data governance area i was not able to grab a lot of concepts easily so i was also uh, resorting to the transcripts so here are transcripts for each uh, video as well so you can go click on the transcripts you can read through these transcripts if the video is not making proper sense to you so likewise you can uh, take the courses and finish the videos and get the certification which will be valid for 2 years uh, if you want to do some hands on then there is a solution as well you can go to colibra website and you can click on try colibra so once you click on try colibra you need to you can register using uh, the only option is using your business email you can't uh, use a uh, colibra test account using your any other email ids but you can register in colibra university using any of your email id even your personal email id will do but this test drive account <coughs> will only be provided uh, if you are having a business email so you need to register it follow few steps and once done you will be given access to a test drive account which will be valid for 14 days so you will receive the details for a login um, in your business email so this is how things will go on so you can try on some stuffs in the test drive you can uh, go through the courses read through the transcript finish the video get the certification and if you face any problem you can reach out to me anytime the details <coughs> reach out to me at any time the details of my uh, handles are given in the description hope you guys finish this certification as well and my next target is uh, dp203 which is azure certification so i'll be back soon with a new video on tips and tricks to clear dp203 for today bye guys